Welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to learn all about dot plots. So dot plots are as easy as having a number line and some dots and a good label so that we know what the dots represent and a good title so that we know what this is all about. So how many pets do you have? And in this particular dot plot, we collected data on the different number of pets and put them as dots on this number line. So it looks like, just to make sure we understand, um, how many people had one pet? Okay, great. There's two dots, so that's two people. Each dot represents a person who um, who we gathered data on. Okay, how many people have two pets? Great, just one. And that dot happens to represent me. I've got Freckles and Gerald. How about three pets? Oh, there's no dot, so that's zero people had that. How about four pets? Okay, one, two, three people. Five and six again have zero. And then seven pets, there are two people. All right, and we'll use the same dot plot to answer a couple questions that are pretty common when it comes to dot plots. So here's a very common question. Um, if I asked you how many people have more than three pets. What do you think? Okay, so you probably have a good idea, but I like to just go like this. So if it's more than three, I'm just looking for anything here and up. Okay, so I'm counting, all, I'm just counting dots. One, two, three, four, five. So the answer is five. Five people have more than three pets. Okay, here's one more. How many people have less than three pets? That's another one where I love how easy sometimes these dot plot questions can be because you're really just counting. So less than three would be anything in the two, one, or zero. But no one had zero pets when I um, took this poll. So we're just going to count these dots, which is three. Three people had less than three pets. Here's an example of a dot plot that is all set up. It's got a good number line. It's got labels, a title, it's got a scale, it's counting by ones. It starts at eight and goes up to 12. And this one has some random data that I've collected on the ages of some of my viewers. And I wanna see if we can create the dot plot by looking at the data. So I want you to kind of get a chance to be a part of the setting up of the graph. Okay. So let's start with just the beginning, okay? So when I put a dot on the dot plot, I can then cross it out, okay? And then you can kind of look and see ahead if there's gonna be any other eights, and I don't see any more. So that is the youngest viewer, and we'll just put one dot above the eight. Now, how am I going to do 11 and a half? Because I went ahead and put halves on some of these ages. This person is 11 and a half. And so where do you think my dot should go? Okay, great. Halfway between the 11 and the 12. And I'm going to also be really careful. I didn't mention this on the last one. I'm going to be really careful to not put it you know, way too high or way too low. I'm gonna make sure it's right in line with this one over here so I can compare 
the stacks of dots at the end. Okay, so I can cross that one out. I have two tens now, so I'm going to go like this. Okay, and get rid of those. I have a nine-year-old. Nine and a half. Where do you think that goes? Okay, great. Right halfway between. Ten and a half. And it's okay, as I'm doing this, it's okay to have dots in between your scale. Sometimes that happens where there's a dot in the middle. Okay, eleven and a half. Here's another one of those. Another ten. That's getting pretty tall. An eleven. First one of those. And then someone who's nine and a half. Right like that. So now we have all of that data much more organized. See here it was so random. It's kind of hard to tell um, what was going on with the data exactly. When we put it into a dot plot, it's so organized, which is really one of the main points of having a dot plot so that you can organize data. Okay, here's the first question for you with this data that we just plotted. So it says, how many viewers are 10 and older? Why don't you pause the video and find out? Okay, so in this case, since it included 10, it's 10 and older, I'm going to include these dots above 10. So here's 1, 2, 3. This person's older, so there's 4. So are these. 5, 6, 7. 7 viewers are 10 and older. Here's another question for you. How many viewers participated in this poll? So pause the video and see what you think. How can you find out how many viewers participated in this poll? Okay, so if you think about it, each dot is a person. So if we just count up all the dots, we'll know how many people participated. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven people participated in the poll. Good job! Great work today and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!